Hi, my name is Ty Smith. I'm the founder and CEO of ComSafe AI, where we take the safety and security of human beings extremely seriously. I think that there's a high possibility that there will be at least some violence in and around Election Day, according to the following variables. Over the last nine months, conflict and violence in the United States has already been on the rise. Between January and August of this year, we've seen nearly 14 million new firearms that have been sold in the United States. In June alone, we saw a record-breaking 3.9 million firearms that were sold. We've also seen an increase in the sale of ghost gun parts, which means that there are individuals piecemealing together firearms that are totally untraceable by law enforcement. There's also been an increase in domestic violence, child abuse, cyberbullying, cyberstalking, and sexual harassment. Unfortunately, we've also seen an increase in homegrown terror and COVID-19 related crimes that are designed to interrupt business. As a result of this pandemic, people are dying, people are losing their jobs, businesses are closing down. The American people are mentally stretched thin and we are all under a tremendous amount of mental stress and anxiety. Now combine that with the fact that we have a president that is publicly refusing to commit to a peaceful transition of power in the event that he loses the election. And he's dog whistling to some of these far right white supremacist groups that, according to Reuters and the Department of Homeland Security, pose the greatest threat to our national security at this time. But it's not just the far right that we have to be concerned with. Unfortunately, there's a bipartisan trend toward condoning violence in order to advance the political agenda of both the far left and the far right. And according to Americans who identify as Democrat or Republican, one in three of them believe that there is at least some justification for violence in the event that the election doesn't go the way that they want. Now add that on top of all of the stress that Americans are under because of problems like systemic racism, police brutality, uh, the fact that Americans feel as though they can't trust our leadership right now. There's a lot going on in our country. So I think that there will be at least some violence in and around Election Day. What do we do? Well, this is a time for every one of us to be servant leaders, empathetic leaders, and for us to give one another a break, understanding that we are all under a tremendous amount of stress right now. Companies and universities have to start teaching conflict de-escalation and teaching our employees and students what the signs of behavioral conflict and violence look like so that they understand how to avoid these people and these situations. Companies and universities also have to invest in increasing their physical security posture and technology and training that allows them to keep students and employees safe, whether they're working from home or in a brick and mortar location that's owned by the organization. Companies and universities should also look to create policy around keeping political conversation outside of the workplace, outside of our universities, even our virtual environments. And those same organizations, again, need to take a look at the technologies that they are investing in in order to combat toxic communication within our workplaces and our universities. This is a time for us to all love one another instead of finding reasons why we should claim to be different from one another. Now more than ever, and more importantly, this is a time for every one of us to vote. America is the greatest democracy on the planet, and it's up to every one of us to keep it that way. I hope that you all stay safe and vigilant. Until next time.